Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to go ahead and, oop, camera's cutting off the top of my head. Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you um, kind of this dewy, glowy summer look. And um, I just do this on days, oop, my nose is itchy. I just do this on days where I kind of want to look a little bit more fresh and awake and I just don't feel like having my face all matted down. So this is just kind of how I do this, so I'm going to get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off using my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And this is what it looks like. I just have the sample size that I got in my Ipsy bag recently. So I'm just going to put about a little bit more than a pea sized right on my finger. And then I'm just going to work that into my skin. I feel like I think my neighbor is watching me through the window right now. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, and to do my eyebrows today, I'm just going to work, that's why I'm wearing this t-shirt right now. Um, I just want to go for something light, something easy, so I'm going to go ahead in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Express for, Beauty Express for Brows and Eyes. And I'm going to go in with powder, and I'm going to use the lighter shade on my eyebrows today. And I'm going to be using the Anastasia number 15 brush. But first, I'm just going to start brushing out my brows. Just going to brush them out. My eyebrows are so straight that they never stay in place, so there's really no point of me brushing my eyebrows in. Next, I'm going to be using this NYX eyebrow pencil. It's like a wax pencil, but it's from NYX, and I've used it down to the nub, as you can see. I'm just going to put that on my eyebrows so they stay all day and if you put a wax on before you put powder on, the powder will stay longer and it will last longer. I'm working like a 7 hour shift today so i got to have my eyebrows staying long even though I want to look a little bit more natural today. So then again, just brushing that out and going in with the lighter shade, I'm just going to dump that in there dump that in there and then I'm just going to start from the bottom and then I'm just going to go through and brush it through kind of get that inner corner Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to brush through When I mess up on the top, like when I feel like it's not straight enough, what I do is I just take a Q-tip and I just go like that and I get like a perfect defined line. Now back in with my spoolie. I'm just gonna, oh my eyebrows itch. Back in with my spoolie. I'm just gonna brush that out a little bit. And then I always have this gap right here in the bottom of my eyebrow. Okay, and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow and I will be right back. Okay, I just did my other eyebrow. Now I'm going in with concealer. So First I'm going to be going in with a green concealer so I don't get acne all over my face, I get it in patches. So what I do, let me get my mirror, what I do is I put, oh, broke, but I put it in X's on my face like this, and then I got acne up here, I have no idea why, and then around my nose right here on my chin and then I dot it in places that I feel like are going to need more. This is a very pigmented green concealer so if you guys are looking for a good green concealer this is the Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer and I believe this was fairly cheap too. It's not the best formula but it's very pigmented and it does work. So I'm going to be blending this out with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's kind of dirty so I kind of need to wipe it off right now. I'm just going to start blending this out. I 
think a lot of girls get red around their nose because of hormones, so that's not like unnormal. If you don't know what a green concealer does, it basically neutralizes any redness in your skin. As you can see, it kind of leaves a white cast over my face, but it works really good um, under foundation. Or even if you want to blend this out super, super good and just go out like this, that could definitely work too. Okay, I have that nice and blended out. As you can see, it neutralized the redness really well. So next I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Dewy and Smooth. The label's not on the front. Hold on. You guys know that bugs me the crap out of me. Hold on. There you go. And I am the shade... I am the shade... Hold on. I'm in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. This is kind of my tanner shade. So... Yes, so I'm going to kind of shake it. Okay, so I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. And this foundation is really good if you're going for that dewy, luminous glow. Um, I do get a little bit oily, and this kind of can make me a little bit oily, but not really. Uh, my nose is itchy. So I have some on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to kind of dip that in, and I'm going to dot this on my face and then I'm just gonna work it in. Um, it's not that much of a full coverage foundation. You can't really see because the camera is kind of washing my face out. But it's enough to where I can build it up and put as much as I need. As you can see it's already like it gives a really dewy luminous look. It's really nice. Now I'm going to put some on my forehead. Okay so now I'm going in with my beauty blender because it's kind of hard to get around my eyebrows and my hairline with that brush. So using my beauty blender really helps. It's kind of dirty right now but you know what? It's like totally okay. And also this kind of, I always do this even, I'm not done with my foundation like I'm going to put another layer, layer on. But this kind of helps just to really push the foundation down and help it stick to my skin. I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay. I'm going to mix it in with my um, Fit Me foundation just because I feel like it's going on a little bit too dark right now. Forgot, forgot to put my chapstick on. Crap. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that out. My beauty blender is starting to get old. I'm gonna have to get a new one, but I don't want to. They're so expensive. But then I bought it the first time, so you know. Now that I have it, it's like I can't just not use it. So I use the Real Techniques one. And that's really good and I might even like it more than Beauty Blender, but recently, like this past week, I lost it and I have no idea where it is right now. And I don't even know how I lost it. Like it's just, it just disappeared. It disappeared. And mixing uh, my Revlon Color Stay with my Fit Me Foundation, it helps with the coverage. You get a little more coverage when you do that, which I'm feeling like I need today since my acne wanted to you know, be a beezy this weekend. Then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and this is just going to help take off any excess foundation that doesn't need to be there. Oops. And also it's just going to help press it into my skin and help it stay. So I totally have foundation lips right now. It's bad. Like, look at this. It looks like I don't have, like, lips. It's okay. So to be bronzing up my face today, I'm going to be using this uh, Maybelline Master Conceal. And as you can see, it's way darker than my face. Um, and it is in the shade 50 Medium to Deep. And the reason I use this is because when I'm going for a dewy, glowy look, I don't want to put on a powder that's going to make it look less glowy. You know what I mean? So what I go ahead and I do is... 
just put it along there. And then I go back in with my Real Techniques Expert Base Brush. I should know what the name of that is by now. And then I just kind of start dotting. I kind of I kind of move it upwards. And then I just start blending it out. And there we go. It's just a really light bronze. If you can see this side. And then you can see this side. It's just a little bit darker. Just to give my face a little bit of um, color. You know what I mean? I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. Just kind of make sure there's no harsh lines. And then also I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. So what I do is I'm just going to little bit let me zoom you guys in so I'm going to take a foundation brush and I'm just going to kind of take that and I'm going to smear that down my nose same thing with the other side so I'm going to be taking this little concealer brush and I'm going to start patting it out and even though I know this isn't going to blend it out I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender and kind of pat this out to blend it out. But this is just to kind of distribute it a little bit evenly. A perfect color. If you're like light skin like me, this is such a perfect color to, I said light skin. If you are fair skinned like me. This is a good color to um, carve out your nose with if you contour your nose. Okay. Now you guys might think this is weird, but I always curl and do my eyelashes or mascara before I go into my under eye concealer. So that's what I'm going to be doing first. The eyelash curlers that I'm using are these Tweezerman ones. This is what it looks like. And the refill thingy. Thing that you know the red part that actually like it didn't come with these this is a refill to another eyelash curler that I don't like but the refill is definitely usable so I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes like my eyelashes are completely straight my boyfriend told me so he was like your eyelashes are so straight I have better eyelashes because his eyelashes are like super curly and I'm just like well thanks that, that makes me feel great about myself and, and I'm not really getting the base of my eyelashes yet Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and curl the other eyelashes. <laughs> I'm just going to go super light on my eyelashes today only because I'm just going to work. But I just need to do my eyelashes to make myself feel a little bit more alive. So to conceal my under eyes, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I am in the shade, if I can find it, 10 Light. Where's my mirror? There it is. Found it. So, if you saw my last video, you know I just go one, two, and then three. Same thing with the other side. One, two, three. This axe is kind of a highlighter for me now, so I'll put that on the bridge of my nose. Put it right here. Oops, put it right there. Corners of my mouth. And there we go. So to blend this out, I'm going to be going back in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I'm just going to pat that in. And if you messed up on that nose contour, go ahead and fix it with your under eye concealer. Or however you want. This is, you guys can definitely customize this look to your own needs. I don't know if this looks totally blended out on camera, but it's not. So after this, I'm going to be going in with my Beauty Blender. So I'm going to be going in with my Beauty Blender. 
just going to blend it out. And the Fit Me Concealer is not matte, it's kind of a dewy finish, and that really works out well. And then, I'm not going to put any powder because I feel like powder just makes my eyes crease even more, so there's nothing I can do about that. So now I'm going to be doing my bottom eyelashes, my lower lashes, with the same mascara. I'm going to go ahead and take my foundation lips off. Ah. Ah. Well, today I'm just going in with, okay, I use this so much that the labeling is like, oh, I mentioned this in my favorite drugstore products and you know I still don't know what this is, but I know it's a Revlon and it's like, like this, it's like a chubby stick type of thing, and it, but it's in the color... 001 honey honey dose honey dose and it's like a really nice pink but it's like mauvey as you can see okay so that is my everyday dewy summer glowing look you know I only do this when I on days where I want to look a little bit more awake and fresh and just dewy and glowy and I don't even know if the camera is picking this up right now but my skin has this like dewy effect and if you want to add a highlighter go ahead the only reason I don't is because um, I'm going for a little bit of a more just natural glowy look today and also I broke out in these areas so putting a highlighter will only accentuate those bumps that I have so let's you know otherwise I'd be going all out in the highlighter right now because I love highlighters or I need to get like a cream highlighter because not being able to wear highlighter because of my acne honestly sucks so I'll end up doing it anyways just because I don't care you gotta work with it gotta learn how to work with your acne Okay, but this is the finished look. I don't even know if the camera is really picking it up right now, but my skin is very dewy, and I hope you guys liked it. And I will link all the products that I, well not link, but you know, tell you all the products I used down below. And I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.